Rebel fighters on the front line. This is the northeastern Damascus suburb of Jobar. Opposition forces were pushed out of here on Monday after launching a surprise assault that brought them within a kilometer of the capital's old city. The Syrian military staged a counterattack that included dozens of airstrikes, but less than a day later, the rebels are back. This is not uh, really uh, reflecting their power. Uh, indeed, it is more reflecting their capability and ability to reach some places where they are not or they have not sufficient uh, groups or soldiers on the ground. The fighting is part of a now three-day campaign by rebel groups aimed at connecting rebel-held neighborhoods in and around Damascus and to get closer to the center of the capital that is the seat of President Bashar al-Assad's power. The surprise offensive is the first large-scale foray by rebels inside Damascus in years, signaling that despite a series of major defeats in recent months, Opposition forces are still able to challenge the regime militarily. Rebels still hold a large, heavily populated part of the eastern Ghouta suburb in the capital, as well as other districts in the south, east and northeast of the city. These areas have been relatively quiet over the past year, but it appears the rebels have changed tactics. This is a new tactic uh, that might uh, have, uh, let's say, uh, illustrated a new track but it's a long track and it's might, it might be a painful track as well. According to the UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the fighting on Monday killed fighters on both sides. With the renewed fighting that opposition forces are describing as the second phase of their campaign, casualty numbers are set to rise. Despite the intensity of the confrontations between rebel fighters and the regime over the past few days, the United Nations announced on Tuesday that all sides invited to talks later this week in Geneva, aimed at finding an end to the conflict in Syria, have said that they will attend. But few are confident that it will lead to any kind of lasting solution to end this latest violence. Impiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Beirut.